Sup, beef backs. I'm gonna cut your ass off and call you Sally. Play the grounding. Oh, oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> hey, Crouch. That is a fucking creepy face, kid. How do you crouch? How do you crouch? I don't know how to crouch. I don't know how to crouch. Sorry. Alright. The paintings in this house are really fucking creepy. What the hell? It's so dark over here. Oh. <laughs> Hi. Yeah? Alright. Why did I smoke a zero? <laughs> Hillary Clinton. What the fuck? <laughs> I didn't like it. Why is Hillary Clinton in this game? <laughs> I don't even know if that's who that really was. What the hell is this painting? Hey, another cigar. Is this game just about collecting cigars and not getting killed by Hillary Clinton? That ass. Look at that ass. Alright then, cool. <laughs> Just... What the hell? <laughs> Hillary? <laughs> was that you? Are you a spaceman? What the fuck was that sound? I don't trust it. I don't trust it. Stop making that noise. Oh god. Hillary Clinton can teleport. Oh my god. Ah. 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 Oh, good lord. Why is she in front of me now? Are you gonna kill me? Turn when I'm not looking at you. Weird, creepy ass. Fuck is this shit? The fuck is this guy? You gonna kill me? <laughs> Cool, so the whole point, this is legitimately Hello Neighbor, but with Hillary Clinton instead. Not sure how I feel about it. <laughs> uh, Alright, I'm going to try a different game. Let's go to... I don't know what I want to play, guys. Something without Hillary Clinton in it, probably. <laughs> I, I mean, I'll play this more later, but not right now. Ah, uh, this. I'll play this. I haven't played this since I bought it. I'm going to play Song of Horror. My girlfriend's talking to her phone, guys. <laughs> Alright, 
Come on. Today. There we go. All right. As soon as the game loads, I'll be ready. Why is it taking so long? We're gonna have a uh, post on our Facebook page today, our Gamer Freaks post there. Gamer Freak Facebook page, you guys should check that out. Uh, at GamerFreaksOG.com. Uh, at GamerFreaksOG on Facebook, I'm sorry. We haven't got the website up yet, it's our Facebook page. And. We're back. By Friday like any other, okay. It's our new toy, the Seahorse Pro. Game has controller support, babe. Oh, are you actually? Yeah. Oh, I'm not live. I'm recording. I'm on YouTube. On YouTube video. Um. Daniel's apartment. So I must be Daniel. Uh, uh, home sweet home. This game had a controller support. Controllers are better than a mouse and keyboard. Changed my mind. clicking and stuff because I can through here from my um, sorry um then yeah I can hear it's my fucking joystick I can hope you guys can't hear it in the video because I tried changing the settings to make it quieter and I couldn't figure out how to I'm not very good with audio setups if anyone knows how to help me with that it'd be great can leave a message down in the comments. Alright, well there's nothing here to hang up check out, so nice apartment, man. You got some records, cool. Videotape collection, few westerns and cop movies. Noise, noise. Same. I've got a lot more than that though, but I spend my Sunday on this couch listening to jazz. Same, but maybe some rock and metal. Jazz is good too, though. OK, 
can't wait. <laughs> X Files. Can't wait to see the next X Files episode. I haven't even. Okay, hiccups now. I haven't even seen the X Files. I uh, saw that there was a remake of the show, but I haven't saw the original or the remake, so. Uh, I'll probably start with the original, obviously. The old bike, yeah, you should sell that, man. What's going on here? Pizza. Not the greatest pizza I've had, but it hit the spot. I have some pretty good pizzas on the Bless you. Damn, I closed the curtains again. I ended up killing this poor plant. They have an aloe vera plant at the library in town, and I think that's so cool because I've never actually seen an aloe vera plant in real life. At least I don't think I have. I don't remember if I have. It's pretty cool. No groceries. What is that? Cocoa Krispies with the elves on them? Boy. They didn't copyright that? That's cool as fuck. I'm glad. Cocoa Krispies, my god. Cocoa fucking Krispies. Not my drug of choice on a Friday evening. Same though. Or any evening, really. I can't drink coffee, it hurts my stomach. And I don't really like the taste of it. Anyways, so, whatever. Shit, I could have sworn I took out the trash. That's like basic coffee. Like, I had some blueberry, uh, Dunkin' Donuts, blueberry muffin flavored coffee. That shit was good. I've had some other flavored coffees. Like, I like iced coffee and stuff. I just can't have it anymore. It's, like, it hurts my stomach. I have messed up stomach. Okay. And the toilet drain stinks as usual. All right. Oh, crikey. Seriously? I'm Australian. Fuck yeah. <laughs> I've always wanted to be Australian. I've always strived to be Hello. the Daniel. most Australian Daniel. that anyone in the world hey, could ever be. we've got a bit of a major emergency going on here. Oh, you're joking. Friday evening, and there's What's an emergency? The... This is serious business. Sebastian Husher is nowhere to be found. And his manuscript should have I been at the office coming. by Tuesday. He won't answer his calls, and he hasn't shown up at his office at the university. He's vanished into thin air. Oh, don't screw with me, Etienne. Call him on Monday or send a courier for him. I, I just got in the door less than five minutes ago. I go myself, but I've got to attend Albert's performance in half an hour. Plus, Husher's house is closer to your place than it is to mine. Come on, man. The sooner you go, the sooner you'll get back home. You're going to owe me a big fat favor. Whatever you want. Write this down. For Abbott yeah, Thomas yeah. Road. In the old housing developments along Highway EB-15. EB-15? Good God, like that's out in the that, sticks! Man. I plan to take a few days off after this. Well, we'll talk about that once you find it. Oh, and if he gives you the manuscript, don't show it to anyone. And don't go selling it off to the highest bidder. I'll see what I can do. I'll ring you up when I get back. Thanks, Dan. You're saving my skin. Hmm. Okay. Again. Another Friday evening and I'm working as an errand boy. I suppose they're too important over at Wake Publishers to come looking for jolly old Husher themselves. Wake. That one Wake. I was just yeah, I thinking this game for that. me of Alan Wake, kind of. I mustn't have Watch a stress my like clients. An Alan Wake Rising from my lot as a drunkard and financial ruin to that of an errand boy is actually it. quite an improvement. I played most of it, but that was a great game. If only things had gone a bit better for the company. Really liked it. Alan Wake. Uh, or I'd got on the wagon a bit sooner. I have all the call Alan Wake. <laughs> Damn, Sophie did the right thing when she divorced me. I would have yeah. divorced myself in her place. <laughs> Damn guy. Hello, self-esteem is safe. Daniel Neuer, the bloody alcoholic. Chin up, you. That is Daniel Neuer, the bloody ex-alcoholic, after all. Wake publishes employee by day, Wake publishes screwed over lackey by evening. Even Friday evenings. But if I could find Husher, I have a feeling my status at the company would rise quite a bit. After all, he is the publishing firm's biggest star. Let's cross our fingers and hope he's home. Fingers crossed, man. I, I got my toes crossed too, guys.
Sebastian Piotr's wife, Catherine, the two children, Julie and Saul, and their housekeepers, Alexander and Masha. What they say, better to be safe than sorry. Need more engaging, engaging this too much. Um, cutscenes, too much cutscenes. All right, nice, nice. Tricycle. I didn't know Husher had kids. Yeah, they literally said they had two kids on the screen. Though. I know you didn't read that, but. Still. Take the side door when I can take the main one. Pfft, you don't want him to see you coming, do you? I don't know if they do or not. I don't think they're bad people. I think we're just. The, oh, wait, no, this guy's missing. Okay. The newspaper that murderer they arrested about a week ago was on the front page. Did he escape? <laughs> Is that. Hello? Why are, these, why are these on the front page? Is that a music? week later? I'd better take a look. Cool. So candles, lighters, flashlights, or different light sources. Oh, each character. So I play more one, more than one person during this game. That's cool. If you interact with artists, it might not be in front of your character. Your light source will never run out of you. Oh, sweet. Fuck you. <coughs> Is that someone playing a music box? Sounds like a Sounds like Looks like travel guns. Oh, March 12. Guess it needs fixing. Is there anyone home? Oh, there's two hats and a scarf and a shirt, right? <laughs> you got more clothes on than that, my guy. You got like three layers on. Stop. Turn around. Turn. Yeah, you got literally that white shirt, then that zip up thing, then your leather jacket. You got three layers on, my guy. Shut the fuck up. Not too much clothes. I need a PK. I need a keypad, a key code for that thing, it looks like. Much better since I've stopped drinking. Maybe I could have Sophia. Bah. Estranger. Where is. Can I interact with you? Hmm? Ah. Alarm. Seems disabled much better. If it goes off, I'll have a lot of explaining to do. I don't worry about why it's disabled though. Let me do it that way. <coughs> Paintings are depressing. I never put them up in my place. I mean. I don't know what's depressing about it. It's just black and gray. I can't tell exactly what the fuck it is. That one. curious now. I wasn't at the beginning, but I am now. They're packed and ready to leave or something, but at the same time, they don't. And their alarms to say, well, the door wasn't it slightly open? I wonder, no one ever answered these calls. I'm not sure I could play with vintage. Fruit, the expensive porcelain kind. I guess they don't want to think they're poor. Well, they're not, are they? 
Cook some plates in the same cabinets. Mm, that's bothersome. Will that bother you, babe? Huh? The this family on this game has their in their just come here. <laughs> their dining room is also their library, apparently. They have their plates and books and stuff in the same cupboard here. And then they have all that stuff over there on the shelf. Um, it bothers me that the books are... It bothers me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it, guys. It bothers me that the books are above the plates, because if that shelf breaks, all the plates are going to shatter. But I guess if they were above the books... And that oh, shelf broke, I, did, yeah, I didn't even notice shatter. that, but there's some in the middle shelf, too. I noticed those. Yeah. Like the, yeah, okay, yeah. Does it bother you, though? It just bothers me in general. Why are there? I mean, I guess you can read at the kitchen table. I don't know. There's something on Thanks that for table. entertaining us, babe. Yeah, my graph is hairy. Yeah, but while he. While he yeah, while he was eating, I couldn't. Would get on his ass so hard. I couldn't do that. I'd be like, wait, that's too much multitasking for me. I like. I mean, I admire people who can multitask like that. I just. I can't. They're all covered in dust. This place hasn't been cleaned today. Then where the fuck are they? <coughs> I'm so confused. Not there. What, is it? what are you, guy? Can I have you? Matchbox. <laughs> Matchbox. Can't think of any reasons to burn the house down yet. Yeah? I like this guy. I like my character. Yet. He says. No, the music isn't coming from upstairs. <coughs> I'm trying. I can't go up the stairs, so where is... Nope, this is the kitchen. I was just here. Portraits. Mirror. Dirty mirror. Can I go this way? I can. Music? So confused, where am I going? That just circled around. Oh. We have the music. Oh, hey. You? Are you a music box? Like a stereo ground. It's not the music box. I can't remember what that thing's called. Where the fuck is the box? I'm so confused. Big deer head. That's a nice deer head though. Like that. This is a room I like. This too, honestly. Oh, well, I don't know. It looks like more scholarly, like something from Tomb Raider. But I like the main room. It's got the books. It's got like the deer head and some other cool decorations in there. That's a room that I could be comfortable sitting in for extended amounts of time. If I break that, my grandsons will finish paying. <laughs> that expensive, huh? Hmm. One police letters. I like the... Yeah, same. I like how he... Hmm. Interested. Grammar and reference books. Books, books, books. And more books. I 
Let's put this drawer is jammed shut. Japanese swords. Wait, I'm sorry, what? Goodbye. Oh. Stupid cartoons. I assume he's talking about anime. I don't like anime though, but here we'll get over it. You'll be alright. Didn't used to though. My girlfriend got me into it because she's hot. Alright, where's the music box, man? Oh, hey, we're equal. Hey. Found an examinable item. Permission on the back side. Graham Dorian collecting any documents at any time. It's hot. <coughs> um, read. Dear Sebastian, how are you? To be completely honest, I must admit that we are all impatiently awaiting your latest work. My dear friend, I must ask a favor of you. Enclosed with this letter, you will find one of the latest items we have purchased at the store and ornate music box with fascinating engravings. Craftsmanship is astonishing, but something else has caught my eye, or perhaps I should say ear. The melody, Sebastian, it's peculiar. You have to listen for yourself. I had never heard the song before. My attempts at finding the score or the name uh, or composer have failed. I cannot for the life of me get that melody out of my head. It's the song of horror. If you land to help me find any clues regarding this box and its mysterious melody, I wouldn't be forever grateful with the warmest of wishes, Isaac Farb. Yes, I've also enclosed the little information I managed to find out about said box. Have Interesting. You? What the? How can there be a door there? Giving me some evil within like vibes. Ooh, look at that scuba helmet. That's cool. A fucking statue bust behind. It's creepy as shit, though. Um, antelope or gazelle? I believe it's a gazelle. A deer. A cool mass. Little art figures. Go. <coughs> and Sophie doesn't like hunting, I guess. Uh, rifles. Those are cool. I don't trust it. <laughs> nope, this is the horror door. Yep, I said horror door. Hardly taking a step forward. Also when I heard corridor. the door close behind me, Poor corridor when I turned around, corridor, I don't know. the door wasn't there anymore. And all that was left of it was a strange shadow on the wall. I searched. Evil Within esque vibes here. I despaired. Have you ever and that I game? screamed Evil Within until my throat began to burn. Right the candles started no. to run yeah. out, as did the batteries in my torch. From within the most suffocating no, said that they're the hours went by. So until it turning you know, into uh, days, you had to recharge them. and I began to fall in and out of a restless sleep. I'm sorry, what? I've been here for days. I would hear voices, sometimes right next to me, other times a few yards away. It seemed like they were coming from the other side of the wall. Desperate 
cries, howling in horror. And sometimes, the worst of all, a vast, oppressive silence would fall, seeming to emanate from everywhere and nowhere all at once. There was nobody there, just hallucinations, nightmares, black nothingness, and the song from that music box. Trapped in this impossible place, I wondered if I was going to die there. We decided to have a water break and smoke break, guys, while there's cuts in going. Etienne, do you have any news on Daniel yet? Oh, Sophie. No. We've been calling him at home all day, but there's no response. Do you know if he's got a mobile phone? No, I don't think so. And if he does, he doesn't tend to keep it on him. Oh, man. I think I should pass by the Husher place when I leave, just to see if they know anything. Husher the writer? Your client? Yeah. I sent Daniel over there on Friday, and I haven't heard from him since. What's the address? I'm going to stop by Daniel's place, and if I don't find him, I can go around and ask about him. The house in the outskirts of town, on Highway EB-15. Number four, Abbott Thomas Road. It's a big house. Okay, I'm headed over. Call me if you find him. Uh, of course, same to you. Okay, I'm back. Um, my girlfriend's trying to do something that's gonna be loud, apparently. What do you. Give me one second, guys. So we're gonna rearrange her background for her streams in a little bit. Uh, so I'm gonna probably make my character. Or wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, go back. I'm gonna select my character. Uh, and see what happens, and then I might get off for a bit. Help her do that. So it seems like I didn't pay attention to that cutscene at all. I'm gonna have to go back through and watch it myself. Um, but it seems like I went in the door and went crazy, and I'm gone. Now I'm gonna play as someone else. So, 40 years old, Sophie Van Dinnend. Light source is a candle. His wife has always put Sophie to the test many times, but she always pulls through. It was thanks to this resilience that she summoned the strength to put an end to her fa failing marriage with Dan. Oh. Okay, she knows Daniel. Daniel, Sophie, who runs a well known art gallery, is now enjoying. The ever elusive prosperity she is always along for. Speed is good, stealth is good, strength is a little down, serenity is up more. Scented candles. Whenever I light one, everything around me feels safer and more peaceful. Etna Bertrand, 45 years old, sweet. My source is lighter. Etna, a confident, self made man, is sales manager at Wake Publishing. Okay, I don't think this is related to Alan Wake at all, then. I don't know, it might be, but. Making him Daniel's direct supervisor. Uh, in his role as personal assistant, Daniel has become somewhat of an errand boy, but NA is slowly giving him greater responsibilities. Although they love to complain about working together, they have grown fond of each other, developing a friendship outside of work that neither of them like to admit. Speed is one, two, three, four, five. What was hers? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, also five. And then four, then six. Stealth is down. Strength is two up compared to hers. One, two, three, four. That's one down. So strength is two up, but stealth is one down, and serenity is one down. Okay. Writing down anything important is the secret to remembering. I have a note for her. Alexander Laskin, 59 years old. Okay. 
handle is a light source. Sun rarity is four bars down. Strength is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The biggest yet. Stealth is good, speed's decent. I, I don't really think I know what this serenity. Serenity is like calmness, peacefulness, right? Yeah, he's not calm, so. Alexander and his wife, Masha, are housekeepers at Ryder Sebastian P. Husher's mansion. Watching over the author's children is one of their many household duties. The Russian couple of Christian faith moved to Europe in the early 80s in an attempt to flee from a mysterious past that Alexander rarely have ever speaks about. Okay, that explains his serenity being down. He's got a bad past and stuff. Take a good swig from the flask and soothe your nerves. What did your luck always work for me? Metal hip flask. Okay, let me see how many there are. There, okay, there's one, two, three, four. No, there's four characters. Okay, so speed, four. We'll go back through after I read the next one. Lena Ramos, age 32, light source flashlight. Lena is a passionate, hands down type of learner, always eager to get her hands dirty at work, happy and energetic. She's traveled the world with her sister in search of a better life for them both. Now working as an electrical technician and model of security, Lena is part of a highly qualified tech support team repairing high end home security systems for exclusive clients. Speed is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Stealth is also 6. Strength is 5. Serenity is 3. She has a walkie talkie. It doesn't work very well. Fix up a lot of weird repairs. What the fuck? That's useless. Okay. 6, 6, 5, and 3. 5, 5, 4, and 6. 5, 4, 6, and 5. Four, six, eight, and two. I think I want more serenity than that. Fuck that walkie talkie. I don't want to be her or him. He has the scented and candles to feel safe and peaceful. And a candle. He has a lighter. And the notepad. Five, five, four, six. Uh, okay, so speed is the same. His stealth is down by one. But his strength is up by two. His serenity is down by one. I'm playing as him. The Husher Mansion is home to writer Sebastian P. Husher, his wife, Catherine, their two children, Julia and Saul, and their housekeepers, Alexander and Masha. Character's personal item has a limited amount of uses. Those will be reset at the end of every episode. Hot, so my notepad probably has a limited amount of pages, honestly. And the flask would probably run out after so many sips. The walkie-talkie is fucking useless. And... Set of candles would probably have a certain number. They probably all have be limited uses, honestly. Alright, so I'm here to explore the mansion hot. But I don't play as Daniel. That, that's okay. That's fine. Or wait, do I play as everyone until I die? Do I die as everyone until I die? I don't know. I'm gonna save and leave this so I can go help her set up, and then I'll probably stream some more of this later, guys, or record anyways. I'm not streaming, so... You'll see this later. Ah! <laughs> Sorry. Love you, bye. By the way, be sure to check out our Facebook page, Gamer Freaks, G A M R F R E A K Z O G, or search Gamer spelled that way, Space Freaks. Also, there you go. Check us out on Facebook. Obviously, you're watching my YouTube video when you see this. I also have a Twitch account under the same name. And I have a TikTok under the same name as well. And all of my girlfriend's stuff will be on the Gamer Freak site. You can check her out at Crystal. D-H-R-Y-S-T-A-L underscore dragon.
spell normally. I'm over here staring at her to make sure I'm spelling it right and she didn't react, so hopefully I did. But yeah, check her out too. See you later, guys. Uh.